my name is Saujanya Golapini. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. I was at Fermilab for almost eight years, uh, both as a graduate student and also as a postdoctoral fellow. Currently, I work on a number of Fermilab experiments, so I, I come here quite often, so you can call this my second home. There's a lot of public engagement outreach programs that go at Fermilab, uh, and we often get a lot of uh, high school students. There's actually not a single day that goes by where I don't see a high school student or a middle school student or a high school teacher or a tour group uh, who are walking around at Fermilab amazed at all the things we do. And we do get a decent number of middle school students who come and attend our lectures. And I want to share one fun experience during that time. This uh, really smart uh, middle school girl, she was very, very young, but very, very smart. And she comes to me and she asks me one question. Um, so do you think quarks have substructure? Uh, do you think uh, they're indivisible? <laughs> First, I was amazed that she even talked about quarks. Second, that's exactly what my PhD thesis was. And I spent five years working on CMS experiment trying to solve that puzzle. So I tell her, well, uh, we don't have a telescope big and powerful enough to help us look inside the quarks, but we, we plan to build it in the future. Would you like to help us solve that puzzle? And she immediately says, absolutely, but first I have to finish my high school. <laughs> There's many, many more experiences like that. And, and I think that's what makes Fermilab what it is. And it helped me make what I am today, both as a scientist and also in terms of how I engage with the public. So if you ask me, what is that thing I love about Fermilab? Then my answer is that I, I love all things Fermilab.